Okay, I wanted to improve the part cooling fan on my uh, original Persa i3 MK2. Here's the normal duct that goes on the bottom of the fan. And there's a... it doesn't show up well because it's black. So I printed one in green so you could see it easier. But basically I took all of the uh, dimensional information of this original duct and then opened up this outside wall to make this flow and then angled it so it can shoot some air down on the far side of the nozzle as well. I guess I can't get the camera down there to show you but you all uh, get the idea. There's, a, there's some parts some parts that I print that are very complicated and have a lot of overhang and details all the way around so any part of that design that's facing the backside away from this fan doesn't get adequate cooling and it ends up looking kind of ratty and you can rotate the file and, and re-slice it and print it and all of a sudden the problem is now in a new place because you've rotated it but it's always on the backside so that tells me that the uh, the single part cooling fan that comes on the person that only blows from the front just isn't quite adequate enough for all files I'd say 99 percent of everything I printed it's totally fine the way it comes from the factory but uh, some of the complicated robotic files that I've been printing it uh, just doesn't do them justice and this seems to help quite a bit if any of you guys have done anything better uh, leave it in the comments down below I'd love to see it I'll put the uh, this STL file up on uh, Thingiverse so if anybody wants to download it and try it they can try it also there just isn't a whole lot of room in this design to to add another fan anywhere. I mean you definitely can't add one on the back side because uh, you're always going to be up against a wall somewhere and there's limited room here because once you're over you you got your carriage in the way and limited room here. I suppose you could stack another fan further out this way and make some sort of duct work that loops around and blows from both sides more like a, an Ultimaker or something like that but uh, this is what I came up with to try and get a little bit more air movement on the back side of the extruder as far as a part cooling fan goes.